unknown deep-sea creatures with strange appearances. Scientists know more about space than the ocean, according to Columbia University's Earth Institute. So in a sense, a majority of the creatures lurking below the surface may as well be aliens. Meanwhile, researchers from Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia, Canada, believe that 91% of these marine animals are still unknown to us. Of the 235,000 or so species we do know about, many have adapted to their environment with peculiar camouflage bioluminescence and mating habits leading to some seriously strange appearances. These are some deep-sea creatures. One flamingo tongue snail, with a name like flamingo tongue snail and the flamboyant coloration to match. You might think this Sophoma gibbosum has a shell worthy of collecting, not so. All of the flamingo tongue snail's color comes from the soft parts of its body, which envelop its shell. When threatened, it can retract its mantle flaps, exposing its true shell. Two Crossoda norvegica jellyfish, known for its vibrant red coloring, the Crossoda norvegica is a kind of jellyfish collected from the deep Arctic Canada basin. It lives about 2,500 meters beneath the surface and uses ectodermal cells with nematocysts to sting prey. It's not exactly clear what these creatures feed on, but it's most likely a combination of zooplankton and phytoplankton. 3. Yeti crab. This furry clawed crab looks so unusual that when scientists discovered it 5,000 feet deep on a hydrothermal vent south of Easter Island, they designated it not only a new genus, Kiwa, but a new family, Kiwiti both named for the mythological Polynesian goddess of shellfish. It's likely blind and may use bacteria in its furry claws to detoxify its food. 4. Jawfish. Let's state the obvious. This thing looks like it's throwing up, but what you're actually seeing is the strange mating process of the jawfish, a species native to coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea and Western Atlantic. Beyond using their jaws to scoop up sand, the males also use their huge mouths to carry eggs until they hatch. Still, other times, their mouths are like weapons. Used in jousting matches the jawfish truly puts its money where its mouth is. 5. Victorniella worm. What do you get when a whale dies at sea? You get a feast. If you're a polycheat worm, like this newly discovered Victorniella, found about a half mile below sea level in Sagami Bay, Japan. 6. Goblin shark. This content is imported from YouTube. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information at their website. Long story short, goblin sharks look scary as hell. The super rare creature can grow up to 15 feet in length and has the ability to thrust its whole jaw outward in order to capture prey. Fewer than 50 goblin sharks have been spotted since 1898. So if you're hoping to see one, chances are slim. 7. Terrible Claw Lobster Named Dinochilus ossibelli for its terrible or fearful dinos in Greek, Claws chela. This new species of blind lobster joins a very small list of cousins in the genus Thomistochilopsis. Only four other individuals in two species had been found previously, both in Australia. Scientists collected the specimen during the Aurora mission in 2007, led by the U.S. and French Natural History Museums and the Philippines Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. That second part of its name, Ossibelli, is also significant. It's in honor of Jesse Ossibel, a co-founder of the Census of Marine Life. 8. Pycnogonid Sea Spider Found in the Antarctic, this male pycnogonid spider, or a distant relative of a spider, anyway, bears its own eggs. It has virtually no abdomen, yet has a leg span of about 25 centimeters, which means it's about on par size-wise, with some of the largest spiders on land, like the goliath bird-eating tarantula of South America. 9. White Margin Stargazer Perhaps the only other fish that could contend with the blobfish for the ugliest creature in the sea, the White Margin Stargazer, is a real tough guy that uses double-grooved poison spines above its pectoral fins to sting prey. As if that weren't enough, the stargazer also has electrical organs contained in a special pouch behind its eyes that allow it to sting prey with up to 50 volts. As for its name, the stargazer spends most of its time burrowed in the sand, with only its eyes protruding up to toward the surface. 10. The Dumbo Octopus This Grampodithus octopus, found over the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, is affectionately called Dumbo because of the way it flaps its ear-like fins to swim. Dumbo octopuses are known to be the deepest dwelling of the octopuses, as they live at depths of at least 4,000 meters. 
but often even deeper than that. Because these octopuses are naturally rare, they've developed unique breeding habits to increase the chances of producing offspring, for example, the females carry eggs at various stages of development, and can even store sperm inside their bodies for long periods of time after mating. 11. Arctic Hydromedusa. This Hydromedusa, Bithicarus buoloni, is common in the deep waters of the Arctic, about 3,300 feet deep. The broader family of Hydromedusae are so common, in fact, that they compose the largest group of cnidarians in the sea coming in at just a few millimeters to a few centimeters at absolute maximum size, though, they're far smaller than your typical jellies. But what really sets them apart from the jellyfish is their reproductive system. Hydromegacy produce both sperm and eggs outside of the body, underneath their squishy bell. 12. Obese dragonfish. Hey, that's not nice. But in all seriousness, the obese dragonfish surely won't take offense to its name after all. There's no shame in being one of the largest species in the family Melanostomiidae. In fact, it's actually pretty badass. According to the Australian Museum, these deepwater dwellers feature a smooth, scaleless black body, boast a full set of large, fang-like teeth, plus a long chin barbel, and a series of light-producing photophores along the body and behind both eyes. For the most part, these guys stick to the waters around Australia, but can also be found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. 13. Hydrothermal Vent Snail Another hydrothermal vent snail, this alvinoconscious snail, was found at the Suyo Seamount of the Tokyo Hydrothermal Vent. It's the only individual of its kind ever discovered. 14. Red Spotted Blenny These algae-munching fish are mostly known to be peaceful, but when it comes to other members of their species or at least those who aren't their own mates the Red Spotted Blenny can be hostile, especially if kept in a tank. Just like tangs, they sometimes bite or full-on attack other nearby red-spotted blenny fish, they even take nibbles at corals and clams at times. Their native habitats are along coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. 15. Japanese Spider Crabs These giant crabs are, as their name indicates, native to Japan, and are considered delicacies throughout the country. These guys can grow to be up to 12 feet long, and they are not picky eaters. In fact, the Japanese spider crab is believed to favor eating the bodies of other marine animals, because it means they don't have to kill anything themselves. 16. Squirrelfish. The squirrelfish can only reach a max length of about 2 feet, but this creature packs some serious punch in its relatively small frame, mostly nocturnal, these fish live at depths of between 100 and 600 feet below the surface, where they scan the sandy sea floor and grass beds for prey. The coolest thing about them, they can actually use their swim litter to produce sounds for communication between other squirrelfish. 16 Porcupine Fish Similar to their cousin, the puffer fish, the porcupine fish is covered in strong spines and has the ability to swallow up water to puff up its body into an orb when threatened. This is helpful because it's pretty much impossible for predators to swallow a porcupine fish in full-on balloon mode. Even if a predator does manage to swallow it before it has the chance to puff up, it's still poisonous to most fish meaning it's not a very good snack. 18. Delicate Claw Crustacean This newly discovered species of crustaceans, Known for its delicate claws, Leptochiliidae sensulato, was found near the Great Barrier Reef's Lizard Island. 19. Mimic Octopus. Found in the Indo-Pacific, the Mimic Octopus is not only known for its ability to use chromatophores to blend in with the surroundings, but also its skill in impersonating a number of other marine animals hence the name. Among the animals it mimics to defend itself from predators, are the lionfish, sea snake, jellyfish, and zebra sole. Other times, the mimic octopus uses its shape-shifting abilities to approach prey, sometimes even appearing as a crab's intended mate before chowing down. 20. Thornback Cowfish. Technically a kind of boxfish, this guy has horns at the top of his head, but doesn't use them to bully others. However, in stressful environments or if it dies the thornback cowfish can become toxic. 21. Lycianasoid amphipod. One of many new amphipods discovered by the marine census of life, this Lycianasoid amphipod, inhabits the waters near Elephant Island in the Antarctic. Like other tiny crustaceans, amphipods, aka sea fleas, are a big source of food for larger creatures of the deep. 22. Parrotfish. Ranging from about 1 foot to 4 feet in length, 
There are approximately 80 different species of parrotfish in an array of colors scattered across coral reefs around the world. Their name comes from the fused teeth at the front of their mouth, which resembles a beak. Incredibly, their scales are so tough that in some cases, even spears can't pierce through them. 23. Sea Pen. The orange sea pen, Pilosarchus gurnei, is actually a colony of animals that can withdraw into the soft sediment where it's found. Generally speaking, there are over 300 species of sea pens, named for their quill-like appearance. With stimulation, they glow with a green light. 24 Metasudes. This potentially new species of metasudes was found in abundance among the coral rubble at Ningaloo, Western Australia. What is it, exactly? Well, it's an arthropod, meaning it's somewhat related to insects, crustaceans, spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. Of course, that's not saying much, since there are more arthropod species on Earth than all other phyla combined. 25. Napoleon Rass. You can't really beat the description of this creature from the census of marine life. Exceeding 2 meters in length, the Napoleon Rass Chalinus indulatus is one of the largest reef fish found in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The intricate blue-green design that decorates the face resembles New Zealand Maori war paint which is the root of its alternative name, the Maori Ras. The designs are all so unique to each individual, much like fingerprints. A protogynous hermaphrodite. This Ras can change its sex from female to male. 26 sea nettles The image of swarms of sea nettles, like these Chrysaora fussicans in Monterey Bay, California, is so intense that they've been bred for aquariums. They do have a sting. Though it's rarely a health risk for humans. 28 Venus flytrap anemone. This Venus flytrap anemone of the genus Actinocyphia was found in the Gulf of Mexico. Related to jellyfish, sea anemones get their name from the flower of the same name. This creature, in particular, closes its tentacles to capture prey or to escape predators. 29. Black Swallower. The black swallower fish has the ability to swallow prey much larger than itself, thanks to the extended gut attached to its belly. This adaptation is especially useful since black swallowers live in the deep and food can be scarce to come by in the abysmal depths of the sea.